so much for stopping by and checking out this lesson. My name is Quincy Davis, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you eight, yes, eight killer bebop drum phrases that many of my students over the years have found very helpful in kind of getting in the door of learning uh, more about what bebop drumming and bebop soloing is all about. So they found it helpful, and I know you will too. So check out this lesson on eight killer bebop drum phrases. So this is a piggyback lesson on last week's lesson on soloing where I kind of touch on this subject about learning bebop language. Um, you don't have to watch that lesson to watch this to understand this lesson. So go ahead and watch this whole lesson and then you can go back and check that lesson out. I'll put the link there and I'll also put the link down below for that lesson. By the way, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing because I put out weekly drum lessons that many drummers have found helpful and I know you will too. Also, let me know you're enjoying the video and press that like button and leave some comments. Now you might ask me, hey Q, what's up man? I, I don't even really play in that style of bebop. bebop. I don't, yeah, yeah. Well, that may be true, but um, the truth is that the foundation of all, uh, at least most modern day drumming, especially soloing, comes from bebop drumming, okay? The modern language, the usage of rudiments, the phrasing, the sticking, the way they get around the drums, it all is related to everything that we do today, regardless of style. That's why learning these eight killer bebop drum phrases is going to really enhance everything you do. All right, so jumping right into number one, I'm going to show you the first bebop phrase on this handout. One, two, a one, two, three, four. That's it. Did you catch it? Okay, I'm going to do it again a little faster. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Something that you have to really pay attention to is, and I always talk about it with my students in, in all these lessons, um, is accent, accents. Make sure your accents stand out and your non-accents stay fairly low. So I'm thinking about it like this. There's two levels. Accent, non-accent. Accent, non-accent. And that's going to help um, give everything that you play more clarity and give it more of that, that precise sound and feeling that you hear bebop drummers like Max Roach um, and Philly Joe Jones and all these wonderful drummers play with. Um, so that's something you're gonna notice me doing and you should do the same, okay? So that's the first one. With all of these, I'll show you exactly how you should practice it now. Put it into context. Four measures of time, four measures of the phrase. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, here we go. We'll do it again. We'll do it a little faster. One. I'll do it a little faster. One, so you can hear. And that's important also. Make sure you practice these at different tempos. One, two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One more time. Bebop phrase number two. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Here we go, one, two, three, four. And all 
all that is is a six stroke roll. That's another great thing about learning bebop is bebop phrasing and, and soloing is that you're using rudiments uh, to, to execute all these ideas, right? You're also learning about phrasing, which is a very important element to bebop drumming. If you're enjoying the video, please let me know. Leave some comments, press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Bebop phrase number three. Sound familiar? Maybe it sound, reminds you of uh, Art Blakey, perhaps? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Bebop phrase number four. Here we go. One, two. You got to be careful with this one because it's pretty fast already. So uh, don't, don't try to play it too fast right away. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Paradiddle. One, two, three, four. And with that one, even though it's paradiddles, Again, it's the accents that give it kind of that, that feeling and that sound um, in the attitude. Okay, so make sure you deal with those accents and get them to really pop out. Um, and I have to note, if I play that one at a faster tempo, it's, I use eighth notes. I'm thinking more about the eighth note grid rather than sixteenths because sixteenths would be too fast at a fast tempo. So at a fast tempo, it sounds like this. One, two, uh, uh, uh. Right? Okay? Bebop phrase number five. Okay, killer bebop phrase number six. Six, 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 six. Can't do it. Six. One, two. This one on the handout, I I uh, note that that second phrase, right? It should be played a little bit straighter. A lot of drummers would might go, right? And generally, eighth note phrasing, um, eighth note lines in jazz are a little straighter, more straight, legato, and laid back. So just remember that. Killer Bebop phrase number seven. Here we go. Ah.
Sound familiar? I hope that one sounds familiar. That's Max Roach for Big Sid. Uh, a video that you can actually check me out playing his solo. Um, I'll put the link there. Check it out. All right. And the last killer bebop phrase I'm going to show you is straight another one straight out of the Max Roach playbook. Here we go. Number eight. That one's tricky in that uh, at different tempos, the rate of your roll is going to vary, right? So you just kind of have to get used to playing the, the roll at different tempos and uh, knowing how to organize your hands to come out to beat one, okay? So as I said before, make sure you practice these at different tempos. Okay, so were you able to pick up on the phrases that I used verbatim from this handout? Um, hopefully it didn't sound like I was kind of, I prepared it, though it was completely prepared. Um, but the creativity comes in in how you kind of mix and match and flow between the different phrases. That's the challenge, so you got you to gotta think ahead. By the way, you got to memorize it. You have to memorize these phrases, practice them out of order, um, what I was doing is playing two measures of one and then playing two measures of another and doing that the whole time. Sometimes I play a whole phrase, actually. So there is some creativity in this. But what happens is the more you work this language in different ways, the more it becomes yours, even though technically it's not ours. Obviously, we know we know where we got it from. But the more you work it, suddenly it becomes much more personalized and it's actually um, you speaking freely and, and using it fluently, right, in your own way. So um, that's why it's very important to learn it verbatim. And then once you got it ingrained in you, then you can kind of get free with it. So there you go. Eight killer bebop drum phrases that is going to change everything for you. Remember, bebop is the foundation of all modern day uh, drumming, uh, especially soloing. So that's why it's very important, regardless of what you're really into, uh, what you play more often, uh, learning these phrases and other like phrases and, and language from all the great master bebop drummers is only going to enhance your, your soloing. So check it out, have fun, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.